Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumisetti. Today we'll see one of the SQL real-time SQL that is Big Basket Delivery Channels. Mm -hmm. So if you use Big Basket, this use case will be fabulous to you. So what we are going to cover now? Suppose if we place an order, its worth is less than two fifty. So there will be additional delivery fee of fifty rupees will be applied. Suppose if I, if you place an any order whose value is between two fifty and less than six hundred, so there will be delivery charges of additionally thirty rupees will be applied. Suppose if you place an any order whose value is greater than or equal to six hundred, so there will be no delivery charges. So in the sense, like zero delivery charges will be applied. So in this use case, what we are going to cover is the delivery charges, how they are handling. Okay. So if we see this image, you'll get some idea. Okay. Suppose if I place an order whose basket value is less than two fifty, so there will be additional fifty rupees will be applied. Okay. So less than two fifty, fifty rupees will be charged. Suppose if I place an order two fifty and less than six hundred, there will be delivery charges of so two fifty and less than or equal to six hundred, there will be delivery charges. Of, 30 rupees will be applied 250 plus 30 284 so 254 suppose if i place one more order let this less than 600 the, the delivered charge will be 30 rupees suppose if you place an order whose value is greater than or equal to 600 there will be there will be no delivery charges okay so 600 600 or more there will be zero delivery charges okay so in this use case or in this video we'll cover how to handle this delivery charges okay so if you want to handle this use case we should have we should have case statement okay you should know what is case statement how can we handle this case statement? remember one thing if you want to handle any type of conditions we should go for case or decode statements okay so simple it's a if then else okay so like conditional state based on condition it will work simply the syntax will see okay case when when this condition is true it will display this value okay when condition two is true then this will display this are true so when both conditions are true True, not true then it will go to else part okay so when this condition is true it will give, it will give the result one when this condition two is true it will display the result two. when this both conditions are failed it will go to the else part okay this is in the center case when condition one then result condition two then result if two conditions are the three conditions are four can fail it will go to the else part now we'll see one example okay so if you see this thing so this is my table it is having name gender okay so this is my input. I want to display as in place of him. I want to display as male. In place of if I want to display as female. Okay. Now, how can we handle this? Is this is a good condition? Okay. If we want to handle these conditions, we should go for compulsive. We should go for what? Case statement. Okay. So case when gender equal to m. So when it is when condition matches, then need to display as male. So when this condition is matches with f when gender equal to f, then we will display as female. Okay. So this is a simple conditional statement. Okay. So simple. When this m, I want display as male. M is f, I want display as female. Okay. This is a simple condition. Okay. So based on this case statement, we'll solve the delivery use case. Now we'll come to actual use case. Okay. One more time. So if this, if the delivery charges, if like if my order is less than two fifty, so there will be fifty rupees will be applied. Two fifty and less than six hundred, thirty rupees will apply. So greater than six hundred, there will be no delivery charge. In the sense, like zero delivery charges will apply. Okay. Hope this requirement is clear. Now I'll create. Now else we'll come to the table creation. Okay, assume like I am having one table, big basket table. In this side is having order ID and basket value. Okay, so one order ID and basket value. Okay, so even like some like some dummy data I have inserted. Yes, yeah, so like okay, six records I have inserted. So like 32, 250. Like if you want to remember one thing, if you if you are developing any use cases, you should work with positive scenarios and negative scenarios. Okay, so that's why I'm giving for positive scenarios and negative scenarios. Like this. Okay. So this is DML statement compulsory to be controlled by using TCL statement that is commit. Okay, table created, values are inserted, and controlled by using commit statement. Okay, now if I see the data, if I want to see the by using DL that is data retrieval language that is select state. So select star from big basket table will get the data. Six records are there 32 rupees, 250. This is the basket value 250. So we need to handle like suppose for first value it will be 50 rupees should be applied, for the second, third, fourth it should be. 30 rupees apply for the 600 600 more it will be zero because greater than equal to 600 will be zero chance okay. oh this is requirement is clear okay and one more thing is that okay so from march 25 a new sql and plsql batch is going to start okay if you want to interested you can able to check it down and also like one more batch is going to start by monday so suppose if you know sql or plsql if you want to upscale to snowflake you can able so if you know sql easily you can able to understand snowflake okay. Okay, one more batch is starting on Snowflake, that is March 28th, 20th. Okay, so these are the
now we'll see this one in practical okay we are having the table select star from pick basket underscore table so this is my table so see there are 60 cards are there okay now we'll see one more time our requirement is that okay so less than 250 order value okay should be delivery charge 50 rupees should be applied okay. so for this purpose what okay i'm taking is two columns or we can able to use table alias so b dot star comma next one is the basket value okay so now earlier we have discussed now if i want to handle any type of conditions compulsory we should use what we should use case statement okay so case statement okay. so we should use case case when basket value less than 250 then we need to apply what we need to have 50 rupees okay so 50 is the delivery charges so additional 50 rupees need to be applied now see this condition is good looking it is not good looking. so we should use column alias concept okay so column alias we can able say delivery so delivery charges okay so when i write, try it on it will throw error okay so if i want to have the spaces compulsory we should use okay like this double quotes and we need to take this thing and we need to put here okay after completion of this thing okay. so we can able to get proper meaning delivery charges okay 50 okay. now first condition is actually second condition is what okay if it is greater than or equals to 250 and less than 600 okay so for range of values we should go for what we can able to go for between cons okay now we'll check we'll check whether it will work or not so when basket value between between 250 and 600 okay then we need to put 30 rupees okay 30 rupees. now we'll check whether it will work or not okay so if see what happened okay up to here okay so it is fine okay 254 to but you see what happened up to here it is fine but what happened for 600 it should be zero or oh, one more condition is that what so when when the delivery charge is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 600 order value then it will be have zero delivery charges but if there what happened 600 you see what happened we are getting zero so this condition also fail suppose when i put 599 what will happen up to here it will work but what see it won't work okay. for this purpose simply if i want simply you can able to will commit the command this thing simply we will use what when basket value less than 600 you can simply can put then Delivery charges 30 rupees should be applied. So, what happened? Okay. So, spelling mistake. Okay. So, whenever you see what happened, whenever you get basket value, okay, invalid. I say whenever you'll get like, okay, invalid in the sense, like what? Whether spelling mistake is there or column name is not there. Okay. So, this is the way. Okay. So, spelling mistake. Okay. So, see, space basket value. So, like this. Okay. Now, suppose if you see greater than or equal to 600, then it will be simply so. We can able to put simply else it will be zero okay so there will be zero delivery charges okay hope this is clear so what we did okay we have put like condition is that if it is less than 250 50 rupees should be applied greater than or equal to 250 and less than 600 simply we need to get 30 okay so if it is greater than or equal to 600 it will be zero so i'm removing this thing so that it will get one idea okay. so basket value less than 250 it should be 50 rupees in the range of so suppose like in the range of suppose like 250 first condition is happening so next can you say what from 250 to less than 600 it will be 30 rupees okay in a single shot what in a single command in a single condition we can able to get the value okay instead of putting range or something we can able to put like this less than 250 50 rupees less than 600 it will be 30 rupees for oh, this requirement is clear okay so this is nothing but okay remember if you want to solve this type of use case you should have logical thing okay so by solving this thing what happened no logical thinking will get improved okay hope this requirement is clear okay. so in this in this what we have seen we are seeing table alias here b is the table alias star is the projection operator and case is for conditional statement and if see this is the column alias okay so if you try to solve one requirement three to four concepts will get revised okay that's why if you solve if you solve this type of use case you know you'll get like a, a logical thinking you'll get improved okay hope this requirement is clear thank you for watching